This is Derek Rose with the Conscious Resistance and Activist Post. I'm here in Houston, Texas, and I'm talking with an old friend of mine, a, a fighter for health freedom here in Houston, Councilmember Jack Christie. How are you doing? I'm doing great today. So we just watched the, the documentary Vax. This is the first time I've seen it. Is this your first time watching it? Yes. I knew some of the statistics. And I, I read Dr. Wakefield's book and such, So, but this just fortified because it had the top scientists. It had people inside the CDC. It had parents. It just gut-wrenching stories. So the, the, the movie puts it all together. Everybody in America should read that. Absolutely. I, I would say the same thing. It's very powerful, well put together. What do you say to the critics, though, who look at Dr. Wakefield and say, look at Dr. Wakefield's work and say that you know he was discredited by the medical establishment, and so because of that, people shouldn't pay attention to this documentary? Listen, the, the medical industrial complex criticizes anybody that doubts their pill, shot, surgery mentality. And there's money in the game of the medical industrial complex. It's about money now. It's not about your health. It's not about my health. It's protecting their false science. I mean, you are born with natural immunity to all these diseases. Breastfeeding mothers hands that to the child. Mother Nature and the father of Mother Nature gives that to children. You don't need artificial vaccinations that have side effects to bolster that. You know, really, you may be a weaker defense system than the one with natural immunity. So in the normal childhood diseases, when you're exposed to it, you have natural immunity the rest of your life. So medicine doesn't believe that. So, you, you know, at the end of the documentary, they talked about four steps that they want the listeners and the viewers to take, trying to get their council, their Congress members to support subpoenaing uh, the, the CDC scientists and a, and a host of other options. What can you do as a council member here in Houston on the local level, on the city level, do to help out you know, the family members and, so, and such people of Houston who are concerned with this? How can we do something on a local level? Actually, I've been doing it in elected office from the 40,000 local school board children, State Board of Education all through the 90s, and then the past five years on city council. Quit drugging these kids and quit spraying the campuses with poisons for insects, weeds, and, and, and pests. They're poisons. They get in the system, fry the nervous system. These are foreign chemicals. They're neurotoxins, means they're toxic to the nervous system. And so I, I've been doing that fight. Sometimes I'm laughed at. Sometimes I'm scoffed at. Not as bad as Dr. Wakefield. But the CDC caught a quote of mine at Houston City Council. And I said, you can prevent the flu. You don't need an artificial shot that rarely works. Sometimes it can give you the flu, uh, contrary to what they hand to the, the TV broadcasters. And I said, you can prevent the flu. I said, if you eat right, proper rest, exercise, you know, you have a good immune system. If it's a tuned up nervous system, a week later, a CDC spokesman says, Dr. Christie can exercise, sleep, you know, eat right. He's still going to get the flu. That person has no idea of physiology, immunology, because every regular exercise person knows that they are healthier than everybody else. They eat right, you know, and they just don't get disease. So, you know, CDC, it's about money over there. It's very difficult to be, you know, somebody concerned with health in the United States and to trust the medical establishments. You know, when we have things like uh, water fluoridation, we've got unsafe vaccines and this, you know, a host of other things that have been approved by the health agencies, including the CDC in this country. What do you have um, any particular do you have any particular message that you would like to offer just to leave the people of Houston with? Well, first of all, the, the CDC has to do long term studies, not we got this vaccine in the Ford administration. Swine flu is coming. It's going to kill everybody. Oh, well, we happen to have a vaccine. Okay, everybody mandatory. You got to get it. Swine flu never came. They killed 27 people, injured thousands, and $1 billion of lawsuit against the U.S. government for a, for a failed vaccine. And so long-term study is one thing. You know, and I agree with all the recommendations from Vax, except that last one. 
He says separating the vaccines. That'd be less damaging. But if you got a little bit of poison, it's still bad for you. So I, I just think that we're, we're, we're given a body that has natural immunity. If you don't in, interfere with the, the pregnancy and drugs during pregnancy, it is built to fight these diseases. Artificial immunity may do more damage than good. So I, I, I just think, why well, separate three poisons into uh, a group into three when it's still toxic to the body? Absolutely. So so thank you for your time. Council you're quite Chris. welcome. Appreciate it. Be healthy. Thank you.